Here this is all in boys and girls from the brand new Down in the Dirt, volume 192, February 22, 2022 book, And I Disappear. And I Disappear. <laughs> I would like to share with you a few poems. I'm going to start with a periodic table Twitter length poem. Oftentimes, if they are short ones, they might include an image, as this one does. But if you want to be able to see this in color, because you're not going to be able to see it well here, you can always check it out online at scars.tv and search for the title of this. Lanthanum, The Shoulders of Giants. People seldom remember actors unless they take the lead. You forget supporting roles. They remain escaping notice. They lie hidden and use their accuracy, helping others to make everything stronger. When you see them through that lens, your focus should suddenly sharpen on them. That was Lantham, The Shoulders of Giants, and that was a Twitter-length periodic table poem in Down in the Dirt, the February 22 issue titled And I Disappear. Um, the next one, it's funny, I just was reading things from CCD Magazine, including a poem titled Carbon Copy, which was a Twitter length periodic table poem, and I've got another Twitter length periodic table poem for you about carbon, and it's a more recent one. It is titled Carbon May Have Killed the Dinosaurs After All. And as I said, if there is room, because we try to cram them into current issues, we will show images that reflect the um, Instagram slash Tumblr slash Twitter slash Facebook image that corresponds with the poem. You can see it in color online. You can see it through scars.tv uh, as well. Carbon may have killed the dinosaurs after all. That big meteor that ended the reign of non-avian dinosaurs 66 million years ago... They figure mass extinction came from a carbonaceous chondrite from the asteroid belt's outer edge. All that carbon didn't reflect the light until this dark impactor made life go dark on planet Earth. I will follow that up with a periodic table poem, a longer one, titled Carbon in honor of a piece of prose in this book titled Carbon. This is the poem Carbon. I used to see the magazine ads and the TV commercials. All I was taught was that a big busted blonde was all I could aspire to be. So I would dye my hair. So I would act the dumb blonde. I would still beat them at any mind games, but men don't like the truth shoved in their faces because they refuse to believe anything that doesn't stroke their ego. So yeah, I was a carbon copy of what the media shoved down America's throats. And yeah, as time went on, the dark-haired women started to gain some popularity back, but they still had to be anorexically thin, and they still had to battle the notion that all men still admire the dumb blonde. And yeah, as the years wore on, I didn't have to dye my hair, but I still had to be thin. I still had to be that carbon copy of that dark-haired, gaunt, soulless faces that were plastered on billboards, papers, and screens. I pass the magazine stands, see carbon copies of the models on multiple magazine covers. I pass the media store with rows and stacks of repeated TV screens showing carbon copies of to the world of what we are supposed to be. I don't want to be a carbon copy of anything. I want my own thoughts, my own ideas. I want to spill them out to the entire world to read and hear. But, carbon copy or not, I end up resigned, knowing that despite our differences, well, we're still all carbon-based life forms. I mean, when scientists look for life on other planets, they always only look for water first. Well, sure, hydrogen, oxygen, life as we know it, needs it, I, I get it. But carbon-based life forms are all we know. 
I mean, whether or not they have arms or legs or gills or a mouth or a brain, they all have carbon in common. So, when I see the atrocities mankind causes, when I see Adolf Hitler, uh, the vegetarian artist wannabe, when I see Adolf Hitler collect his cult followers to systematically slaughter millions, when I see the stacks of the skin and bone emaciation, stacks of bodies in ditches or in rooms stacked in a period to a small hole for air in the ceiling after their final shower, after I see the Pope visit Cuba and wear a sombrero, when I see chickens crammed into rows of cages they cannot move in for, for their eggs, for their flesh. And when I see the rows of prepackaged, barely recognizable cow flesh wrapped in cellophane row after row in the grocery store, it is then I have to remember that despite everything, and as much as I hate to believe it or admit it, we are not all that different. I mean, if nothing else, we're all carbon-based life forms. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm going to blow your mind, blow your scientific mind with another, hey, uh, yep, I'm gonna do one, yeah, I'm gonna do two more. This is gonna be periodic table poem Twitter length haven here for you guys. I'm gonna read two more Twitter length periodic table poems for you. This one, oddly enough, doesn't have an image to go with it, but it is short and it's titled Barium Dateline. Dateline, Tennessee. Uh, a woman living on Lookout Mountain had a mysterious illness for months, then found out that her husband slash doctor had been poisoning her for five months with barium in her morning coffee. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we've got one more Twitter like periodic table poem for you. And yes, it even has a tiny Instagram image for it. So if you can remember this title, you can look it up at scars.tv or online and find this image that is titled Gold for the Foolish at Heart. This is for gold, which is A-U in the periodic table. But this is gold for the foolish at heart. Fool's gold in the gold rush was only pyrite. They then learned gold hides in iron disulfide, either in particles or as an alloy. Now they pull gold atoms from pyrite crystal. <laughs> and I think, who is the fool? The one with fool's gold or the ones bent on destruction and wanting something more. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it was your first installment of poetry, all periodic table, no less, from the brand new Down in the Dirt, February 2022, volume 192, issue slash book, available online and um, for free online or as a paperback book through Amazon. This is titled, And I Disappear. And I Disappear, holy cow. And um, if you want to know anything about Scars Publications, go to scars.tv. Scars.tv slash dirt will tell you about Down in the Dirt magazine. And um, we'd love to hear from everybody who is creatively inclined and wants to share poetry or short stories, as long as they're under 2,000 words, and uh, artwork as well. So thank you very much for listening. I look forward to hearing from you all very, very soon. I hope everyone is remaining creatively inclined. I hope everyone has been vaccinated and is remaining safe, because that is how we roll because that is how we get to share with the world when we can be free of COVID-19. And uh, I look forward to talking to each and every one of you very, very soon. Thank you very much. Thank you.